Hello, my name is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. And today I'd like to talk about how to know for sure that you're going to get your manifestation. So first of all, before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, register for my email list by signing up at SovereignMind.com to get unlisted videos. So that question, how do I know that my seed has been planted? How do I know that I'm going to get my manifestation? That is the most common question that is asked of me through all of my coaching clients, all my emails, comments on my videos, and on my Facebook group. And it's a great question because the thing is, is that when we imagine something, when we plant a seed to be manifested, we don't know when and how it will come to pass. But we can be certain that if we have planted the seed, that it will come to pass. I've tested this thousands and thousands of times before. I know for an absolute fact that all things are possible and that if we know how to ask the right way or if we know how to imagine the right way, then we will receive the thing that we've asked for. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about this that I really like and it goes something along the lines of, if we know that he hears us in all that we ask of him, then we know that we have already received the thing that we desire. So basically what that means is if we believe that what we are imagining is going to be manifested, then we can be sure that when we ask that it is going to come to us or when we imagine. So, but how do we know that he hears us when we, when we ask? How do we know that our imaginal act has been accepted and will be projected on the screen of space? And that's a great question. So there's a very, very simple thing that I do on a daily basis to prove to myself that my imaginal acts have been impressed upon the subconscious mind. And if you can easily test this, right? This is not through speculation or theory, right? Nothing I teach is through theory. It's all through testing explicitly. And I'd like you to do that as well. If you test this, you can prove to yourself that you have planted your seed, right? This is how you can prove to yourself that your manifestation will come to pass. So this is the technique. The idea is to know that the same technique that we're using on our big desire works on other desires. It's as simple as that. So it's through basically finding the patterns that arise from manifesting or imagining and seeing them come to pass. When we see that we've imagined for something and it comes to pass, we know that when we've imagined something else, it's going to come to pass. One of the most simple ways to test this is by making the lists that I recommend to write. So what I suggest is, is that every morning or every day, you create a list. And in this list, in past tense or present tense, you're writing down something as if you've already received the thing that you want, such as, I receive a free cup of coffee. An old friend messages me. Somebody dreams of me. Someone sends me flowers. It rains for a few seconds. On and on and on, construct a list of any number of things that you could possibly think of. Now, I recommend this practice to everyone all the time. Even me now, having manifested uh, over and over and over again, nearly 100% success, I still practice this every single day. The reason I practice this every single day is fairly simple. The carnal mind, or the ego, is trained and conditioned by this world. So, it becomes of paramount importance to convince this ego that it's the imagination that creates reality and nothing else. And so when I am practicing writing down this list and I'm watching my manifestations unfold every single time, time and time again, right? Not necessarily the day I write it down, but within the upcoming days or any given time because there's no way to tell when. But it proves to myself over and over and over again that it is truly my imagination creating reality. 
It's truly my beliefs and assumptions that are creating reality. And there's nothing outside that is creating for me. Now, given that list, what I do is during writing that list, I will also add something that is big to it, right? So I'm constantly stretching my possibilities of what I believe uh, that this world is capable of, what I believe manifesting is capable of. Because the more I believe that anything is possible, the more is possible. So when I first started this journey, I believed only very few things were possible. I first believed that everything was happening independent of me, that I had no say in what was going on. That was the first thing. The second thing was, once I learned how to manifest, I thought that everything was still acting independently of me, but then at times I could intervene by imagining things. And at times I can manifest something. But later on, and, and but that's all I believed. I did not believe in rewriting the past. I did not believe in mystical experiences. I did not believe I was the, the one who was, com, uh, was in complete and total control over this world. I didn't believe that people could react based off of what I want or what I feel or what I think. I didn't believe that I was the one in control. But over and over, time and time again, after I removed those boundaries, right? So I removed the boundaries first temporarily, I pushed my beliefs aside, and then I started testing out these little theories, different things, different techniques. And over and over again, time and time again, I was proved wrong. I was proved not wrong in that all things are possible, but I was proved wrong for my prior beliefs. All things really are possible. All I have to do is allow myself to believe temporarily, to suspend my judgment temporarily. And to imagine what I want. To use my imagination to develop scenes about what I want. So when we use this technique and start adding big things to our list, we will see then that, say we wrote down 15 things, okay? And say there's something really big that you want. You will watch... If 14 out of 15 of those things manifest and the only one left is something that requires a tremendous amount of movement, you can be sure because you used the same process for the rest of those things, right? So you used the same process, writing it down in past tense. I have received. I have received. I am. For the little things and for the big things. And if you have used that same exact process for all of those things, then you can be sure that your manifestation is going to come to pass. And I hope that makes sense. And I really want you to try this. Another thing besides the list is I will construct various scenes throughout my day of different things that I desire. And I will imagine them. Big things, little things, small things, things that don't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the, the, the point is, is to prove that every one of my thoughts are filled with power. And so I do this time and time again. And when you begin, when you use, the, the point here is to use the same technique over and over again. So that doesn't go to say that you have to use the same technique only on your desire. But the, the point of this is to use the same technique on a variety of different things. And you will watch each and every one of them manifest. And if there's one thing that hasn't manifested yet, it's just that it hasn't manifested yet, right? There's no telling when and how something is going to come to pass. Now, I've imagined things and they've happened instantly. Literally, before I could finish the thought, they have manifested. And then there are things that I've imagined and then five years down the road, Literally, they randomly came to pass. Things that I did not, that I didn't even remember until it came. I've had things where I was sure that I had imagined properly, and then I took tremendous amount of effort towards my goal, which is what you're not supposed to do, and I was met with extreme resistance and it failed. But then a year later, I received that thing that I had imagined prior, after I had given up, right? 
Now, all of these are just my experiences that led me to like my systemizing of manifesting. But the point is, is that if you know that you are heard, then you know that the thing you have imagined is going to come. It's just a matter of being patient, right? So patience is vital and it's easy to build patience once you're certain that it's coming. That's when it's easy. And so prove that it's coming, prove that you're heard. Another way to test this, to prove that you, that you're being heard is by when you see, when you imagine something and then you see someone speak about it or you see a synchronicity related to it, that is proof that you've been heard. It's proof that you've been heard. And so I take these things as amazing signs that all my deepest thoughts, my imaginal acts, the things I do with my eyes closed that no one else can see, when those things manifest in this world, I am absolutely certain that the rest of them are going to come. It's just a matter of time. Even now, I have big things that I desire for and I know that they're coming. I'm certain of them because everything else that I've imagined over the past years have come to pass. So there's no reason why uh, the things that I want are not going to come to pass. I know they are. It just takes time. As you persist in imagining, you will prove this to yourself time and time again. But just don't give up and keep track of everything that you've uh, manifested. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you like this, please scroll down, subscribe, hit the bell icon, go to the website SovereignMind.com and subscribe for my email list by registering so you can get my unlisted videos and stuff and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching.